Welcome to this video where we'll be talking about the Django REST framework. So the Django REST framework is a library which allows us to build APIs in Django. So using the Django REST framework, we can build APIs without stress and with a lot less code. So Django REST framework is very easy to set up in our Django project and I'm going to walk you through all that in this video. We're going to be talking about the world of Django REST framework what it does, how you can use it, how you can use it in your project and everything you need to know to get started working with the Django REST framework. So the first thing you need to know about this Django REST framework is that it allows you to write APIs in your project. So the first thing we need to do is first of all, I'm going to start from the scratch, which means I'm going to first of all create a Django project, import it in my VS code and then I'm going to use the Django REST framework in that project. So let's do that. Now let me come into my command prompt and I'm just going to say Django admin start project and I can name it DRF project. Um, let's clear that. Yeah. So that is going to create a Django project in that directory right here. Now this doesn't take long, it should take a few seconds and that should be done. So let's check in our folder. So right here, you can see that it has created our project. If I opt in, I get my manage.py file. So what I just need to do is to bring in that project now into my VS code. So it's very easy to set up and work around the VS code. I'm just going to come to the top left corner and then open a folder. So this also takes a few seconds, Python, DRF, yeah. So this is the folder and that should open up in a second. So when we have this open, as that is importing or whatever is doing there, let's come into the command prompt and then let's install the Django REST framework. So to install the Django REST framework on your computer, all you need to type is pip install Django REST framework. Now this command line is going to install the latest version of Django REST framework in your computer. So that doesn't take long. I already have this installed, so I shouldn't have run that, but let's just wait for it to say requirement already satisfied. And then as that is also doing, we come here into our VS code. The project is in our VS code successfully. So we're going to come back to that. And as you can see right here, it says requirement already satisfied. Now, when you get this in while installing a particular Python library, it means that you already have that library installed on your computer. So the next thing I want to do is that I want to set up the Django REST framework into this DRF project I created. So for this video, we're not going to be creating any Django app. We don't need that. If you know Django very well, you know there's a Django project and there's a Django app. So we don't need a Django app for this project. We can just stick with only the project files. So we're going to come into the settings.py file. If you also work well with Django, you will know that we do add apps to path. So when we create a new Django app, we add that app to the installed apps right here so Django can see that app as part of our project so let me cancel this so django rest framework is not an app it's a library but for django to see it into this project or for django to use it for us to be able to use it we need to add it to the installed apps so it's very easy we just need to come to this installed apps and add a new element under the list and what we just need to name it is rest underscore framework once we have this the rest framework is added into our Django project. But before you add this, make sure that you have the Django rest framework installed. Now let's come back and then let's save it. So we can quit this. We don't need our settings.py. The next thing we need to do is to add a particular URL for the Django rest framework into our URLs.py file. So we remove all this and then right here, we can just come under and add path and then we can say api hyphen auth with a slash and then we can tell it to include so we need to include 
but before we can use this include we have to import it so we'll say import include also and then we we'll just say rest underscore framework dot urls now this is good we have this setup right there so let's just add a comma i just like doing that and then let's quit this so now that we have everything configured in this project we can start using the django rest framework in our views let me come back to the django rest framework website so as you can see that is exactly what we did installation under installation we first of all need to install the django rest framework these two libraries are also useful but for now let's just stick with only the django rest framework and then we added it to the installed apps and then we added for the url patterns very good now let's come into vs code and then what i want us to do now is to come here let's create a new file and name it views.py so let's import say from django.shortcut import so we want to import the render so we're not going to be using this in this project but uh, i always import render because most of the times when i'm rendering an html page it's very useful so let's just have that there even if we're not using it it's just something i i'm used to doing so now we can use that django rest framework we can use what something we call api views now this api views is going to allow us to be able to use different different request method that django rest framework has so if we import this api view it will allow us to create a view uh django view which will allow us to accept certain request method now that is going to make sense in a bit so let's first of all say from the rest framework dot views want to import api view so as i said it's going to allow us to accept certain request methods and then we want to import a response now this response is going to allow us to send a response back after accepting a request method so let's do that also so we'll say from rest framework dot response import response now this is good so now we're going to create a class which is going to inherit from this api view so we can get a lot of methods we can work with now we're going to use a class-based view in this tutorial in, for this tutorial so we can say class and let's just name it first view and it should inherit from the api view so now that we have this, it's going to make it very easy for us to just render some data and collect some API requests. So let's just specify the request we want to use in this particular view. So let it be a get request. We'll say def get. So under this class based view, we have a function that is using a get request. And then it should just have self request. And where's my asterisk? args and then keyword argument this should be two keyword argument so this is good we are making progress so right here now we have this function using a get request collecting all this so now let's just specify the data which we want to use which we want to send so a user tries to send a request to this particular view and then what we want to send back to that user is going to have to be a data in a dictionary format so let's say data the call braces and then let's say we want to say um let's just say name and let's say team and then let's say nationality And let's say British and let's say age and we can give him like 23 so this is the data is in dictionary format 
but when it's gonna render to our view as or when it's gonna send a response to the user it's gonna send convert this to a json format so all this data are going to be put in a json type format we are going to see that also when we run this project so now let's return a response of this particular data so say data now this is good we have all this setup this is how to build a very very simple and basic api using the django rest framework and django so now we can come into this urls.py file and then let's import views so say from this import views now we can have a new path and then let this be the home url so when someone just comes to the website and then we can say it should be views dot first view but since it's a class based view we need to add dot as view and then we can just give it a name of first view something like this is fine and then let's save this now everything is set up because when a user comes into this url it renders this view this class based view from this file and then it is using a get request get request and then is returning this data as a response so let's just check what is going to happen so now let's run this project first of all let's cd into the rf project let's make sure we're in there yeah manage.py let's close it and clean that up and now let's say python manage the py run server so this command line is used for running our django project on our local host so that should take a few seconds to run let's just give it a few seconds and that should be up and running with no errors because i don't think we made any errors okay watching for file changes we start reload yeah everything done so now we need to go into this url to see let's open up our browser we can go away from the Django REST framework now and then go into this page. So let's paste that in there and see what we are gonna get. Let's give it a few seconds to load. Good. So this is a default Django REST framework template. So you know, we didn't have any HTML file, any templates we rendered. All we were just doing was passing a particular data into our api so right here you can see that this is just uh, the default django rest framework template where it uses to render all this response so as you can see remember in our code right here we're using a get method right here you can see that it's a get method and then once you see http 200 it means that request was successful so we can also change it into a JSON. So right here, you can see that it uses it in a, it renders it in a JSON format, but right here in our code, it was in a dictionary format. So that's the way APIs work. If you try to send a request to an external API from another website or something like that, you are going to get a JSON response back. Like that's what happens. So, we can see right here in the JSON response, it doesn't show the HTML the template, but right here, this is just the default Django REST framework template. Now, I hope you understood what we did in this video, and I hope you had a grasp or uh, have at least an understanding, an introduction to what the Django REST framework is and what it is used for. Now, that's going to be all for this video, and if you liked it, please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Having already said, thank you so much for watching, for stopping by to check this video, and I'll see you in the next one.